It's yeah. the same as your chin. Yeah. Okay. But I'm just saying, you're talking about a split on the on the on the. Uh, but we also yeah. we also got binding here. But actually, the elevator's got the split. Crib tab's got the binding. It's missing hardware here. But this isn't lined straight. And the trim arm is so pretty good. It needs to be yeah. straight. Well, okay, let. That's something I've never seen before. It's just those things just bit the shit. I uh, okay. I, I can pretty well tell you what happened. Well, okay. Actually, now, we didn't know, I didn't know anything about it. We found it. We, we look at hold this. One. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you got that. We're one real. Centered. We're real close there. Okay. Now, these are close. What's happened is somebody's probably changed. Uh, changed uh, an elevator. No, changed an elevator. Okay, they, they could have put a new trim, a different one on, but when these things come, this hole's not drilled. You have to, <clears throat> you have to drill it on location to to align the thing. So what's happened here is they put this thing on, and this thing was tweaked. <clears throat> So somebody got in there and just bent the crap out of this thing so that these lined up. Yeah. And that's exactly what will happen there. So he needs a new arm and he needs a new bushel. Clean it up and be right. It needs a new arm. That's what I was thinking. And, um, Look at the difference between his uh, elevator tips. This one's flush. Look at that. Yeah, yeah they're off. Yeah. Let, me, let me get over. Okay. Let me get over here just a sec. Try, try to just, Bob. <clears throat> With you holding that lock tight. Okay. Okay. See how much play we got? Try to. It's a bunch. Oh, here. Okay. Here's the problem right here. Look at this joint. This thing has been repaired. It's been jointed in there. This airplane is totally unairworthy. Totally unairworthy. What's the repair for this? This is where you play that right here. Do that again. Move the stabilizer on the inside. Yeah, Look at it twist right in here. Yeah. A little bit of play that there. tight is a lot of play 12 inches, 13 inches, 16 inches away. Um, is this from the the oversized? No, oh, that, no, happens, some, some, that happens here. So, this somebody, is repaired to this. Somebody, somebody, has, somebody has jointed this thing. They put a piece inside inside of it and put another piece over the outside probably the hole was elongated yeah. so they tried to fix that are we getting that, any movement right here against the bolt there is all right here on this this one and this one are yeah. are disassociated yeah. and all of that that's a pop rivet you, instead of a solid rivet ain't it that's a cherry max yeah. okay you can't put a solid rivet in there Oh, it's right. it's, it's, it's getting a little bit of movement in here. Now let me hold this one still. It's moving up Looks like it's coming it's, up it's, and it's down a, rather than rotating through the axis. Is it moving here? Well, yeah. See, see, this thing pivots here at this yeah, point. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to move up and down. But if that hole's elongated, the hole's elongated. This would shift inside of this, and it's not doing that. Okay. Okay. This needs to go up to the shop. What's the cure? What's the cure? What's the cure? Well, for for right now, probably. Taking this elevator off, drilling these rivets out, and I don't know whether Roscoe's got them, but put the next size oversized rivet in them. But this needs to be bonded and riveted, and that's actually not a legal repair right there. That should have a, a 337 done on it. Technically, should have field approval. or replace the elevator.